What's happening everyone? We're back today with another video. Uh, today we're going to be getting another set of headlamps off a Mark VI Fiesta and changing the colour of the actual inserts on them. Um, it's better off just showing you one that I've already sort of had for a while. Um, same with one up here as well. Again, had it for a while now, but one of them was missing the parabolic reflector, so I never just just never got around to doing it. Plus the lenses were crap on them. So little drive last night, and we uh, went and actually picked up a pair of headlamps, as you can see. Uh, we've done a little polish on the lenses, but they're not too great, as you can see from the marking. So gonna try and do a bit more tomorrow with some grits but the main thing for the minute is actually um, just getting the inserts out and painted as you can see as well this will be for the passenger one which I'll have to do and show you but yeah um, the way I do this for the white lights basically is a bit different to how you would normally do them because you only need to paint this section here um, reason being is I stripped these back to um, bare plastic and they're actually literally pretty much the same color as like frozen white so you don't actually need to do them and they have quite a nice gloss finish um, so I'll be showing you what you need to buy, which is some ZEP all-purpose cleaner and degreaser. And all you need to do is basically soak these in a bucket of water overnight. And you will actually see the results. But let's get to it. So if I just dump this up there for now, that can just stay put. And that can stay there as well because we don't ha really have to do much I mean the rest most of it really is literally um, just painting this part but I'll show you exactly what you need to do because obviously this is a bit different in the sense of you guys will have to do everything whereas I don't have to do half of it so what you'll basically want to be doing is getting a hairdryer of some sort and actually heating this up and just prying around the edges and there'll be like little clip areas and that will actually get like the lens out so once the lens is off if you flip the headlight upside down you'll have two little torque screws here which will hold on this unit as you can see and then you'll have a torque screw here if I get a uh, torch of some sort I'll do my best tilt it like that maybe okay so you've got one at the bottom there one down there and another down there in that little gap and basically that will get this big boy off here and all I will say is when like if you do want to paint the inserts like I've done on my ones as you can see these are very like grey and that one's like matte black be very careful with these connectors here they always snap up like literally before filming this just to get sort of some prep ready I snapped two of them so I've had to resold them back together and sort of mangle them back like I'm even thinking of just nicking these ones but I don't want to break them hence why they're still here but just a little heads up um, you can remove all this silicon here it will take you a very long time I had some um, stuff that breaks it down but it was just too long winded for my liking but anyway so once you get this off this is pretty self-explanatory you can do whatever you want with it you can either sand it or throw it in the floor degreaser and it will strip it i recommend doing it in floor degreaser 
because paint doesn't stick to this chrome at the best of times. Um, but when you have this little unit here, it will have the little lens on it. And all you've got to do is literally just put your hand behind it. I am um, just setting this up. Something like that. Right, so if I put my hand behind it through here, it is quite tough. I mean, it took me quite a bit of time to actually get it out. But as you can see, it will just pop off. And then down here in that little hole, there will be a little torque screw as well. Once you do that, you can free this little area from there. And that's pretty much what you need to do to strip one of these. So I've only got one to paint because me being me, I had one that was painted, not very well, but I dropped it and broke it. So it had literally just been a case of stripping one down, putting a lens in it and that would have been it, but it's not a problem. So what we'll do for now is We'll let that soak overnight or for a few hours at least and what i'll do is i'll give you a little update for when it's actually um stripped the chrome off of it so what i'll do now is i'll just go through the process like just a quick time that's because i've got to get the other lamp apart anyway and you'll see exactly sort of what i need to do or what you need to do even Okay, so as you can see, once you sort of broke the initial seal, um, the, the lens came out a bit better. But yeah, um, this is it here. So if we just flip it upside down, you'll see your two screws there, which are quite a bit. Okay, so once they're out, come straight off like so. Obviously, we know how to actually uh, disassemble that, so not an issue. And obviously, you get the bulb out, you just twist it from underneath and pull, and that'll come out. Right, and then take this little dust cover off and then we'll get to the other bolts that were shown uh. and as you can see large bit as well completely off but again if you did want to um, strip this down and make it white it out chuck it in a bucket of that cleaner right so oh. hasn't been in there long but it's already started eating away at it can't really see it well but we'll just let that be for now it does take a while okay so once you've got your lamp quite stripped you will then uh, I'm gonna leave these in because I'm, I'm fed up with having a mess of them if I'm totally honest with you but I'm going to just get a little scotch bright, just a grey one, and just literally start keying the surface so I can then sort of prime it, paint it, and go from there. Okay, so as you can see now, surface has got 
quite a nice keying on it now. So what we're going to do is just give it a quick uh, wipe with the old IPA, and then I'm going to mask these areas up that I don't want to get covered. Layer just a quick layer of primer, and we'll just go through it from there. Okay, so we've got it all back together now. Uh, quite happy with it. The only thing that lets it down, which you can't really see on camera, is the lenses. You see there's quite a few little marks and stuff like that in them, but we tried our best restoring them, but um, I spoke to Luke anyway, and he said to bring them to him because he's pretty good at restoring these uh, tomorrow. So this one's done. We've just got literally just spray this one here and put the lens back on like that's pretty much done so yeah i mean the hardest part was probably done really happy with it though i know there's going to be a bit of controversy on the um orange lens being put back in but at the end of the day the the chrome actually strips completely so the inside of it goes so obviously i've had to spray it white and then spray a bit of chrome spray just to give it a bit of shine again but it would have looked odd compared to the actual parabolic on the headlamp but yeah really happy with it so little update while we've been spraying all this on the actual indicator there you go so for those of you who have doubted at the start of the video there's your result It's literally rubbing off now so I mean I'll quickly just sort of agitate this off the best I can give it a quick clean paint it and hopefully we should get the other one back together tonight I'm not gonna bother filming it because obviously it's quite a long-winded process anyway filming the other one so I'll get this back together and then I'll just film pretty much um, both of them next to each other and we'll just go from there once we've polished them and fitted them to the car tomorrow
Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.